One of my first buys for my stream was a stream deck. And for the first few months, all I used it for was to change some scenes and play the sound effect or two. But then I discovered the magic of plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you five amazing stream deck plugins. But they are not just any old plugins. These will actually make your stream easier to control, no matter if you are a gamer or not. The first one is Stream Counter by Bar Raider. And while I know there's a similar plugin by Elgato themselves, there is one option with this one, which makes it so much better than Elgato's. As the name might tell you, Stream Counter allows you to set up counters on your stream deck for anything you like. So if you want to track the number of deaths you've had in Dark Souls or wins in a game like Fortnite, then this makes it easy. Just add the button to your stream deck and press once to add one to the tally. If you mess up, then you can hold it down for a little and it will subtract one from your counter. If you hold it even longer, then it resets itself to zero. But the main reason this is such an amazing plugin is because you can export the counter to a file. To do this, we first make a new file, which we will call deaths.txt, and then in file name, you will put in the file that you've just made, deaths.txt, and say yes. Then we need to add it to OBS, and there we have two options. We can either use deaths.txt, which will only show the number, or we can scroll down, add a title prefix, such as deaths backslash n, and make a new file called prefix deaths.txt, and use that in OBS. If we use that one, that exports not only the counter to OBS, but also the prefix, which will make editing a lot easier. Either way, once you've done that, you go into OBS and make a GDI plus text source. And in the properties, choose read from file and now set it to either deaths.txt or prefix deaths.txt. But I'm going to go with the prefixed one. Then right click, go to transform, edit transform and set the bounding box to scale to inner bounds. And now you can see we have a deaths counter on the stream where we can add deaths straight from the stream deck and even reset it without ever needing to change the text screen. This is something another plugin shares with the stream counter and that is the stream countdown timer also by Bar Raider which allows you to do the same, except this time you're using a stopwatch. This timer has one of my favorite features, which you just don't see in any of the other plugins. Once you add the timer to your stream deck, you can set the timer length and alert color. When the timer runs out, the button starts blinking and you can press it again to reset the timer. You can also set it up to reset automatically after a few seconds. Just like the counter, this one can be saved to a file as well, which updates the timer automatically within your OBS. After that, make sure to set up a text on countdown end as well, such as times up, and make sure to toggle the clear text file on reset so the text doesn't clutter your screen after you're done with it. The one problem that I have with my timers is that I often miss it when timers end. Mostly because I can't see them because my chat takes my glasses off again. So it will not be a surprise to you that my favorite feature is that you can set it up so it plays a sound when the timer ends. This means you will never miss a timer again and you can set it up so only you can hear it come through your headphones and not the stream, which is just quality. One of the worst feelings for your viewers is when you are streaming and a lot of unintentional sound is blasted their way. That is also the case when you are streaming together with your viewers, friends, or other streamers while talking to each other on Discord. They might have fans running, cats meowing in the background, or just be super low or way too loud. Then this next plugin will come in handy for you. Discord Volume Mixer by The Null. Once you've configured the plugin, it is super easy to control. Drag the main button onto your stream deck and head into the menu. Once you're in there, you can control everyone's individual volume with your stream deck. The plus button adds volume, the minus button reduces the volume, and the middle button with the avatar mutes that person with a single click of the button. You can even mute and deafen yourself right here on the panel, meaning you have full control of your Discord. So let's configure it. First and foremost, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to head to the Discord developer portal. Once you're there, you're going to want to make a new application and call it something like DVM plugin. Head into the installation tab, unclick the user install and make sure it's set to Discord provided link and save changes. 
Now head into the OAuth 2 tab and add a redirect to this link. I'll leave that one in the description below as well and click save. Now copy the client ID and client secret into the main button of DVM that you dragged onto your stream deck. If you don't see the client secret, you can click reset secret and yes, do it. And then you should be able to see it. Do not share this with anyone, by the way, which is why mine is blurred out. And that's it. It's now configured for you to use. An absolute life changer when combined with one of the best plugins you can get. And we talked about that in another video called Volume Controller. These two together allow you to control every single bit of sound coming into your stream. The next one, though, is a beard of a weird one. But we all know the problem. You're getting ready for your live stream. So you sit down, you start your OBS, and as you press the go live button, you realize you forgot something. I had this last week, I wasn't feeling too well, and for one of my streams, I just completely forgot to turn on the lights. Well, that's not happening to me anymore with the pre-flight checklist by Wellstroll. They are very simple buttons, which you can give a title, and when you've done them, you press them. That way, you have a checklist every time you start your stream, so you never forget to do something. Like subscribing to Content Delta. You just let me know when you've done it, and I'll press the button. Yeah? Good. Okay, I know I said there were going to be five. But of course, I wouldn't be me if I didn't throw in a cheeky bonus one with this last one. Focus Mask and Mouse Highlighter by Viva Motion. These two plugins allow you to, with one click of the button, create a mask that blanks out a significant portion of your stream. The focus mask allows you to have a horizontal mask, a vertical mask, and a circle mask. While the mouse highlighter just puts a colored disc around your mouse in one of five different styles. So your viewers can always see where your mouse is. I've used this a few times in my streams over on Twitch now, and it just makes it so much easier to highlight the important things in stuff like patch notes. These plugins are an absolute must for streamers that focus on things like coding, education, or like me, they just want to be able to highlight important things they talk about. And if you are still wondering what the five plugins are that I consider the best, then check out the video right here, and as always, stream better, stream smart.